Hey everybody, I'm Brian. Hello everybody, this is Joe G. Hey, I'm Shannon. Hi, I'm Ron. Hey, this is Steve. Oh, and we can't forget about Marcel. Oh, hey. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Back on Track with um, our guest today. So we've got Steve again, like we do always, Steve Arnold, and today we have John as our guest in regards to the um, our subject, which is scratch building and kit bashing. Um, now, I see a lot of you guys have been on chat this morning, and I've said hello to a couple of guys there. Um, is there anything you wanted to say, Steve, or John? I just want to say good morning. Welcome, John. Um, Where you know Brian's not here today; he's working. But uh, you know, I, I go through chat while we're we're sitting here talking and getting ready to go, and just kind of you know having a good time. And I'm I'm working off this this uh, iPad, which is a little hard to to type on everybody. And I just I've been trying to say hi, but now we got um, first of all Sparky. Thanks. Sparky man, he's here. We got uh, Wilmer, Indian Head Valley Railroad, Art, PDR Engineer. We got uh, Crazy Joe 67. I, I think, I don't think that's new. We got Bill, New Fenris Railroad. Uh, we got Chuck, CDP, C, CDP 1965, Norman Road, Dwight Curley. Uh, we got Joel in the house. Oh, Tar Hill. RRDS, that's another good one. Welcome. We got Claude. Claude back. Thanks. Thanks again, Claude, for last week, man. You are awesome. I still got your uh, um, bridge turntable, whatever. It's I got. I still got to get that up to the mail for you. But that's that's going. But uh, yeah, we're gonna have a, a interesting show this morning. Um, uh, welcome, John. Um, you're gonna let us know how to to properly. Bill Tunnel Pole, tun, tun, can't even talk. <laughs> tunnel portals. <laughs> so, good morning, welcome. Uh, thanks, Steve. Good morning, guys. Uh, thanks a lot for having me here. It's going to be a lot of fun. I appreciate it. All right. Um, now, as Steve was saying, so you, so you build your own tunnel portals, and as far as I know, bridge arches as well, out of like um, plaster and whatnot. Is that yeah, right? I. Uh, I, I make the molds out of two-part silicone, and then uh, cast the, the pieces out of out of plaster. This is uh, one of the spandrels for the for the bridge I'm building. Now I, I cast that, and then carved all the stones into the face of it. Nice. Thank you. That was. I had not heard that word spandrel. I, I I had to look it up. I never heard it either, and until I found this bridge. And what what makes this bridge uh, unique is the piercing in the center of the spandrel. Apparently, this is the only bridge railroad bridge in the U.S. with a pierced spandrel stone arch bridge. These are are common in Europe, apparently. But this is the only one known in this country. And, and, and where was it located at? It's it's on the Schuylkill River, which is which I'm modeling, and it's about 35 miles away from the area that I'm modeling. It's up near Reading, Pennsylvania. Okay. Now, quit, is, was that structural or aesthetic? Because I know that I know the circle adds strength to things. You know, the arch was that to uh, add some strength to it, or just cosmetic? Well, to, to add strength and to cut down on the, on the mass of the bridge, because if that if that was uh, if that was solid, there would be a lot more stone and 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 uh, you know mortar and everything in there. So it's done for both reasons. Okay. The circle is, is very strong structurally, okay, and it lightens up the uh, the face of the bridge. Wow, it's uh, it's a double track bridge. It was built as uh, a joint project between the Pennsylvania Railroad and the Reading Railroad. In like the eight, late 1800s, I think. I'm not sure of the date. And I needed a, a double track bridge for, 
for my layout and it's just seemed perfect so that's why i i chose this now is that the only bridge that you're building or are you going to be doing more than one like that uh, that's that'll be only one like that um mm -hmm. i'm gonna have quite a few bridges probably about eight or nine bridges on the layout uh but it, this will be the only one like this oh, okay cool um just to butt in for a second um just looking through the chat uh, i've got path valley railroad saying i did some casting in resin this past week first time making the rtv molds and all and we also have a first timer with us today as well um joe radar it suppose this is the first show he's watching today on our stream um so welcome joe welcome. hopefully <laughs> Hopefully, you know, you'll enjoy the show and get to know what we're up all about. We're about having a good time. <laughs> right. <laughs> we'll try to anyway, when Colonel Murphy's not here. Well, that seems oh, to be working say, pretty good today. Don't talk, don't say Colonel Murphy. That's right. I'm on a wooden table. Look, touch wood. See, I can touch wood. Yeah. See. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't have any wood here. Away, Colonel Murphy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I was, sorry to interrupt you, interrupt you, John. Uh, what were you saying? Sorry. Uh, I don't know. I lost my train of thought. Sorry oh, that's right. That. You oh, said you you had I a. Was <laughs> uh, I was just asking him how many bridges he you know was going to build, and, and just the one like that with the spandrel with the hole in it. But he yeah, used, how many did you say? You said ten or twelve or something. I, I, at least nine. At least nine. Uh, okay. Yeah, there, there there are a lot of bridges in in the area. It's uh, mm -hmm. it, the the elevation changes a good bit. It's not it's not mountainous by any means, mm -hmm. but there's areas that are a couple hundred feet higher than than you know down by the river, and there's a lot yeah. of bridges that crisscross each other. Well, uh, I guess I'll get off easy because I I've got one double track bridge that's only like that big. And I can do and 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 two double track tunnel portals, and I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't have too many tunnel portals uh, in the area. There's actually none, but wow. you can't have a model railroad without a tunnel. So, no. so I'm gonna have uh, I'll have three tunnels. Hmm. Okay. Two of them, two of them leading to my uh, uh, staging yard, which is outside the room, mm -hmm. and then one actually on the layout. Well, yeah, and you you were showing me um, before the show the um, how you make your uh, your molds for for casting your your portals, and I I found that very interesting. I did I did I believe we saying a few few portals back in the in the mid '80s and uh, for an HO and uh, nothing like you you're doing. I mean, they're they're, they're super super good. This is the uh, the tunnel portal. I don't know if you're going to catch much detail. Yeah, I guess you can see some there. Yeah, there's some detail. Actually, if you angle it so you pull your left hand back a bit. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's going to be hard to see. I can In yeah. my screen, I can see some of the lines. I don't know how you guys over, you know, our viewers, if they can see that detail. Um, but fingers crossed they yeah. can. It, it's it's all you know stark white plaster so it's uh kind of washes out some of it uh but that started with uh just a, a plywood template that i made uh on the front is individual uh sheets of, of plywood that i made out of like 16th inch uh basswood and then i I just attached that to an old piece of laminate countertopping just because the, the mold material peels right off of that pretty easily. And then I use uh, the two-part silicone and made the mold. So you don't, you don't use the, the latex that you paint on in multiple layers? No, not, not, not for this. I've, I've used okay. that for... Uh, for making rocks, uh, mm -hmm. when the rocks are too big to to make into a mold, you know, something that, okay. I, that I'm casting out in my backyard or something like that, I've done sure, that. Sure. Uh, but now for this, I use the, the two parts silicone and and it and just pour this, and the the castings come out really simple. You can pull wow. the sides apart 
and and basically just they just pop right out mm -hmm. for the uh for the bridge when i made the mold for that one i was a little concerned at how thin the spandrel would be at the top trying to get it out and i was afraid mm -hmm. that i would break it there so i cut a hole in the center here of, of the mold so that oh, okay. after, after the the plaster sets I could squeeze it and break it away from the sides of the plaster. Okay. Okay. And it, it came out. I, I don't know if I needed to do that. It might have been overkill, but uh, I thought I it was know, worth I, it rather than break that that tiny. Yeah, that that's a lot of work to go through and then to find out you can't get it out of the mold. <laughs> so right. That, right. That, that was a great idea. How many of those are you going to have on on that bridge? Uh, there, there's ten of them total, five on each side. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So th they're all done. They're all done. They're all carved. Uh, I chose to carve them individually. Uh, I could have, I could have made one, carved it, and then made another mold and then cast that because this, this silicone will pick up that, that detail, detail perfectly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But I, I didn't want uh, 10 of them exactly the same. I was gonna say it makes every one of them unique. Yeah, yeah. That, that that's why I did it this way. They're they're all close, uh -huh. uh, but they're they're not exactly the same. I, I don't yeah. know that anybody, including myself, would be able to pick up the differences by now. Yeah, but yeah, you know, at least I know. No, it's but there. it's you know, but it, it you know when you try to do something you know, and you want to get it just right, you know, you know. No, sometimes no one notices what you do except you do, you know, and you go back right. and you look at it and go, man, these all look the same. I wish I'd have yeah. done it different. No, it, uh, I, I'd have seen that every time I walked in the room if I if I did it that way. So <laughs> yeah, I just had to throw it this way. It, it oh, really wasn't funny. bad. It took about, uh, to, ca to carve all 10 of them, it took about 10 hours. Mm. But I just spread that out over a few weeks. You know, I would do one a day and because yeah, it is a little tedious but, yeah because uh, <laughs> yeah. there's there's a lot of carving in there and that and mm -hmm. making those ho scale stones sure i don't think i'd want to do that in n scale but no i think in n scale i'd probably cast them all the same because no one's going to know <laughs> right exactly you'll never see it you'll never yeah. see it anyway yeah. i'm sorry to interrupt so i'm just going through chat having a look at um what people are saying uh Doug Dewey, uh, I tried my hand at a Central Valley end style bridge kit. You have to attach rail by bending over a little molded in bits over the rail base. I failed. Has anyone out there ever built one of these kits before? Um, if they want to send their information over to Doug and help him out. That'll be great. Um, Crazy Joe 67, I'm trying to make a, whoa, here we go. I'm trying to make a skull face on one of the tunnel openings. Uh, <laughs> wow and then uh path valley railroad uh replying to crazy joe 67 one of our club members associate member because he lives in florida built a t-track module with the train carved into the mountainside pretty cool so there was that um and also i was notified that we also have another first timer here jim stein He's another first time on nah, our channel. Jim's not new. That's yeah. not Jim is not well. He, I don't think Jim's new. Actually, this is Jim's idea. This whole water thing that I did was he he, he threw out on one of my videos months ago. Yeah, but there I'll you go. That's out. why on your videos, not this channel. There's a difference. <laughs> <laughs> This this is Port Stein with the uh, the barge and so that in in honor of of Jim so and of uh, and Joe and Joe Jerosi Beach he, he said I had to have a beach so that's Jerosi Beach for Joe G <laughs> Joe G yeah okay. I'm not gonna even attempt to pronounce this last time uh, I'll just I had it. to ask him because I said Joe I mean. I, I don't want to butcher your name. How do you, how do you pronounce your last name? <laughs> and if I'm correct, Joe, it's Jerosi. <laughs> mm. 
You know, we've got also if, if um, excuse me, Shannon oh. can handle the deck, but we got, we got room for one more person if somebody wants to jump on and just kind of tell us what they do for yeah their modeling and scenery and stuff. Yeah, I mean, well, we got forty five minutes of the show to go. You know, like so. Um, Norman and Sparky, if you just want to have a quick chat with the guys and chat and see if anyone wants to jump on and, you know, chime in w with what John's talking about and, you know, get a different perspective and, you know, get them on the show and say hello kind of thing. Yeah. Now, John, I got a question. Did, 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 um, is that the only portal mold that you made or did you make a couple of different styles or, or are they all going to be basically the same? No, they're all going to be different. This is the only one that I've made so far. And this will okay. be uh, the one that's actually on the layout. Okay. Uh, the other ones that lead off the layout, I'll probably, and, and I just noticed Norman made a comment about this in chat, I'll probably take a, a Woodland Scenics uh, portal and uh, duplicate that. Because I do have one, and I'll make a mold out of that and then cast... Yeah, the, the the other portal I need for that one, out of that one. So. Yeah, that's actually a good idea. The amount of times I've broken those portals, oh my god! If I if I only ever had spares, but not, nah, I spend the extra, you know, twenty five dollars and another pair of portals, and then break them again later on. <laughs> well, as long as you're not reselling them, there's nothing wrong with uh, with making copies. Hmm. You know, yeah, that's true. Own. Yeah. Yeah, you know, mm -hmm. so that's. You know, I, of course, I wouldn't resell it. That would, yeah, you know, oh, Willen Simmons wouldn't be very happy. Oh. With me. Um, hey Steve, Jim was yep. saying that um, we pronounce his name wrong. It's not Stein, it's Steen, because he's Polish. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, in saying that, Jim, F Y I, my stepfather's Polish as well. Um, his parents are still over there. Uh, you might know him, Dolanowski's. <laughs> okay, well, thanks, Jim. It's Portstein. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to butcher people's names. Oh, mine's easy. <laughs> yeah. Nah, the amount of times our names got butchered. Sometimes, Jesus, I've been there, done that. Wait, wait. You what you're, you you could be tapia tapia tapa I mean you you know yeah <laughs> we're not gonna go there we're not gonna go there gonna go. <laughs> oh well we could we don't want to go with nicknames we don't want to do that yeah um, no I got okay you two keep talking I'm I'm trying to get into here what the hell's going on yeah what. The I'm, I'm in, I'm in chat. I'm in chat. Out. You two talk. I'm in chat. <laughs> okay. I, I think Shannon should break out uh, some rap songs. I, I think, you, you know, that, that headband really works. We're, we're going there, are we? <laughs> well, you said to keep going with the show. Yeah, I think you yeah. <laughs> You don't seem like much of a rapper, Steve. No, I don't think so. He probably doesn't know what rap is. <laughs> no. Nah. No, nah, well, I was I listened to a reggaeton. We can do it. How about we do it? We can do a sparky thing. We we can instead of doing wigs, we can change hats. There you go. You look more like a rapper now, Steve. It, it covers the bald head. <laughs> yeah, well, we don't talk about that. <laughs> um, okay, so looking through chat, um, new first railroad, I'm making my portals out of Woodland Scenic Rock Face Molds. Uh, Crazy Joe 67, make your own pink foam light and make them all different. So that's what I've got there. Uh, Wilmer's well, done a couple uh, tunnel portals out of the foam. He did a real nice job on them too. I like the plaster for, for stone and, and concrete just because of the way it takes paint. And what, and I, what about nitrocal? Would that is that is that a good material for using instead of plaster, a little stronger? 
Uh, Hydrocal and plaster are basically the same thing. It's a okay. slightly different chemical composition. And uh, Hydrocal, I think, is a little bit lighter. Uh, yeah, because pl cl plaster can get pretty heavy, but I mean, at, at okay. HO or N scale, it's, it doesn't really matter. Can, could I, you put some sort of reinforcement, kind of like a rebar inside the, you know, pour a little bit of the plaster, put the the metal wire or something in and then pour the rest? Would that add strength to it or just not really do anything? That's that's what I did with the uh, with the spandrels because the, oh, okay. the top and the sides are so thin. I used some braided uh, picture frame wire and, okay. and I... I curved it to, to match the, the curve of the, the arch. And uh, I cut maybe an inch and a half, two inch pieces. And I poured about half of the, the plaster in, laid them in there and poured the rest of the plaster. Okay. Okay. And, and the, the, the real reason was in case they ever do crack, they're not gonna fall apart. Right. And I don't know, again, I don't know if that was necessary because they are pretty strong. But yeah, but that that's a good safety feature to go through all that and have it crack. And, yeah. 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 Especially after they were all carved. That would that, that would have been uh, disheartening, to say the least. That, no, that's a good insurance policy. I'd, I'd have done the same thing for sure. Yeah. Now, that bridge is is how I think you said I don't remember. Did you say how, how long it, it, that bridge it's, is? It's about, just about 24 inches long. OK. And it it spans the uh, right as you walk into the the layout. Hmm. Okay. So that so I've I've uh, I built a, a glide up gate. It does it doesn't lift up like like a lot of gate you know uh, entrance gates. Mm -hmm. This uses uh, uh, drawer slides from from like a desk. And the, the whole the whole thing just slides up, and then I can slide it back down into place. That's and like keep, a drawbridge. Yeah, like a drawbridge, all like one like one solid piece. And this that's, keeps me from, from rocking the bridge, so it doesn't crack. And uh, oh, that's a great idea. That's a good idea. <laughs> um, okay, again, looking through the chart, uh, Container Man sixty eight. Uh, when making new portals, add the woodland scenic plaster cloth or buy some fiberglass and in place of layers, you pour plaster to strengthen the portal. So kind of similar to what you're doing, John, with reinforcing it, but I think this is after the fact once they have been casted. Um, Indian Head Valley Railroad. I made, I made portholes out of foam board. Uh, Shane's Trains. Hydrocoat was designed to be as strong as plaster, but half the weight. And Ron Piskel, he's in the house. Uh, you could mold and carve. I, did, I was just going to say, hi, Ron. Well, yeah. That's a great suggestion, too. Yeah, uh, you could mold and carve yeah. a portal out of Sculpey mold, Sculpt sculpting modeling clay. I think that was a typo there. I'm looking at reading and going, what is he trying to say? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, no, yeah, make it out of clay. That's, that's a great idea, Ron. All right. Um, let's see, what time is it? Uh, 224 2, oh, 224 my time 24 minutes into the stream that's i've got to keep i've got to think stream stream time um okay so 24 minutes in the stream so what i might do guys is um with the moderators in chat can you just double check see if there is anyone that does want to jump on and be part of the chat this morning with us for the last half hour of the show even it's for five ten minutes um otherwise apart from that i'll do our intermission video and whilst that's playing after the video we'll talk a bit more about the giveaway as well if that's all right also want to also want to say i noticed we got vinnie vinnie in oh here. oh hello vinnie vinnie's in here yeah thank you bnsf 6951 welcome man i hope you're feeling better <laughs> yeah man all right, anyway, so we'll do that, and, yeah, we'll talk to you guys in a couple of minutes. So if you want to grab a coffee, grab a coffee. Um, if any of you guys are interested in jumping in the chat with us and actually talking on camera about what we're talking about today, um, let the moderators know, and we'll try and organize to get you in the next few minutes. 
Um, otherwise, just hang back, have a chat, and we'll be with you in a couple of moments. Scratch building Peacock's Lock Viaduct. Should be a lot of fun. I hope you'll stay tuned. Hi, I'm really glad you could join me today. Peacock's Lock Viaduct spans the Schuylkill River near Reading, Pennsylvania, about 30 or 35 miles northwest of the area I model. It's a unique bridge in that it's believed to be the only example of a pierced spandrel stone arch railroad bridge in the U.S. Apparently, there are examples of this bridge design in other parts of the world, but not here. I was looking for a unique and interesting bridge for a featured scene on my layout. I'd say this qualifies. I won't be using any styrene or other commercial products in this project. Most of the bridge will be cast out of plaster and carved. The fold did its job. Well, that certainly came out a lot easier than I expected. me to be about an inch or two. I thought about replicating that, but in H go scale, it would hardly be visible anyway. Using one of the templates I made earlier, I marked the joints between the individual stones. That's it for the horizontal joints. At this point, I want to clean off any remaining pencil box detail, so I'll adjust the lights and give you a better view. That took about an hour and 15 minutes. With nine more to carve, repetition will probably get that time down a bit. I'm hoping anyway. I'm going to end part one here. You probably don't need or want to watch me do that nine more times. But hey, if you do, there's. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope to see you back for part two and more videos to come. Till next time. Continue with the Peacock's Lock Viaduct Scratch Build. This is a... Hi, I'm glad you could join me today. This will be part two of the Peacock's Lock Viaduct Scratch Build. I finished carving all the spandrels. And just pouring a couple new spandrels. Then I decided it would be a good chance to show how I'd fix something like this something that I see used in but there's almost no carving to do here so this will go very quick and as you can see here each of the capstones has a drain pipe I cut the template from half inch MDF three capstones but this will be much easier than trying to center them in 30 capstones then I gave the MDF a quick coating of spray shellac and made the mold to cast three of the capstones at once. And here are the capstones. But I do want to show this relief line. This goes much quicker than carving the spandrels. The black foam does make it a bit more tedious. I kind of wish I had ordered a lighter color. An alternative. I hope you stay tuned. Made sculpt mold alternative. I hope you stay tuned. Is to dry it out. I spread the ground paper into a thin layer on baking sheets. Put them in the oven at finer consistency. It's slightly damp, but actually a good bit drier than the paper fiber mixtures. If this were terrain on my layout, it would be ready for painting, ground cover, whatever I was going to do with it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and comment. I'd love to hear from you. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe and hit that little bell icon.
This way we can share this great hobby together. And we are back. Now I have to thank um, Brian for that. He put that video together for us so we could have an intermission video. Um, and yeah, yes. we'll have to thank you, John, for um, actually supplying the video for us to actually do it. Oh, thank you. <clears throat> Excuse me. Thank you, guys. I appreciate you uh, featuring the video. Boy, that explains a lot, doesn't it? <laughs> That's my <laughs> question. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, um, now I'm not sure, um, moderators, if you are there, can you let me know if anyone wants to actually jump on in the next couple of minutes? So that way we can organize that. But whilst we wait for that, um, I'd like to remind everyone, I keep forgetting which camera I'm on, the giveaway. So um, mm -hmm. we're trying to get 50 people into 50. the live. Okay, um, last I checked, I think we're about 10 people off. So 10 more, 10 more people in chat and we'll, you know, get this ready for a giveaway. Um, now, as I said, I'm, I'm donating this. So just from my end, uh, it's an N scale DCC fitted, um, an RSC dash two, it's undecorated, ready for paint. Um, I've tested it. I have, I have tested it, I have cleaned it, I know it runs, it lights up, so, you know, it'll be really good for anyone who does model N scale and is after one of these and wants to put it towards their railroad. Um, I know a couple of the other guys are donating HO stuff. Um, I don't know what it is because every time we tend to have a meeting of some sort, when I'm there, they're not, and when they're there, I'm not. So it's a bit of a cat and mouse game at the moment, which is a little bit annoying. I wonder how that happened. Oh, I don't know. I mean, you know, there's this thing called time zones. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should get on my boat, how start rowing. Half, how about half a globe? <laughs> half a globe. <laughs> yeah. I'll get him a little tugboat and I'll start rowing. See you, Steve. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so... um. But yeah, so yeah, in saying that, as a ten more people last I checked, so let's see if we can get those ten people in here. Um, then we can get this giveaway underway, and then from there, hopefully, we can start on another giveaway a bit later on. So yeah, well, and we still got the traveling box card that we're gonna get done too. Get get the details. On yeah, I got I got I got to try and get a hold of Joe. I have got to get his ass into gear and double check if he needs me to send the N scale box car for that. So yeah, I think he's just been super busy. <laughs> yeah. Super busy. Yeah, exactly. Well, and we still, we haven't mentioned it in a while, but I, I'm still planning on getting keychains done. Um, yeah. We haven't forgot about that. We mentioned that, you know, several shows back, but I've got to get up to train mountain and get some steel rail cut and getting up there is a bit of a challenge, but, uh, next couple months i hoping to get up there get some steel rail cut some you know, get some keychains out for you guys for a few bucks that we can help fund some be better giveaways you know so we can we don't want shannon's you know second hand stuff we want something nice and new <laughs> sometimes i wonder if you're taking the dig at me steve well i, I have Did you yeah, have to okay. wonder there shannon yeah. Are you um, wondering? <laughs> well, it is it is two thirty five AM my time. I am grasping at straws to stay awake. <laughs> well, I, I have to say that you make the biggest commitment to this show of anybody. I mean, I don't think I'd want to stay up until two and three o'clock every Saturday, Sunday morning every week. So man. Hats off to you, Shannon, man. Well, it's not every Saturday and Sunday. Sometimes Friday's involved as well. Well, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I... So, yeah, I'll get into the weekend a day earlier before everyone and then exit it a day earlier, so... Well, and then we try to hook up during the week to plan the show and you jump on at your lunch break and we get you in trouble for talking during when you're trying to be working. Mm. So... Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, that happens. Um, yeah, we don't we don't want to do that. Let's see. Jesus, Jesus chat's going. All of a sudden, chat's just going fly, flying. Uh, where are we? Well, Wilmer says he knows the feeling of how to try to get everybody together. It's like, oh man. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I got a question for you, John, from uh, Roy Hardwick, Potato Man 68. John, why did you just pour the stonework in the original cap so you didn't have to carve each one? Made one, carved it out, then pour nine more from the first carved one. Is that uh, just or should read? No, I got it. Uh, just, just to be unique. I mean, I know it's a little insane. Nobody's going to notice an HO scale, but I would see it every time I walked into the room. So, yeah, I, I, I wanted to say it. Uh, Roy just posted another comment that I could have just taken a knife and roughed up a few different stones on each piece, and that certainly would have done it. Uh, mm -hmm. But... Yeah, I guess I'm insane, and I I just wanted to do it, make make sure each one was was unique. It's a well, hobby. It's, it's, yeah, I I started the the bridge yeah you know, months before I'm actually going to install it, because I'm not going to put it on until you know all of the construction's done. So it was just yeah, you know, do one a night, and as long as it takes, it takes. It didn't matter to me. I was just kind of running through chat and seeing if I could see something I missed. Um, yeah, right. Yeah, Roy says uh, uniqueness just take a knife and, and rough up the different stones on each piece. Yeah. Yeah, I, I certainly could have done that. When I when I made the uh, the capstones for the top of the bridge, I did cast them three at a time. And uh, so there, there are there's going to be thirty of them, and I did rough them up a little bit with a knife and sandpaper, so they look a little bit different. I didn't want to hand carve you know, another thirty stones. I'm not quite that that nuts. Yeah. Oh, um, hey, Sh Shannon Wilmer says that he'll take all your secondhand stuff. So, see. Yeah, I need you've to got stuff. way too. I do not. Steve, we've been you through this. Way okay. Too much. Okay, guys, in chat, is too much a bad statement? Oh, I want to know now because because Steve has been hounding me about this behind the scenes, saying I have I too much stuff. For, I said, yeah, and he says, no, never too much. So yeah, I got I got in trouble. Okay, guys. So you guys in chat. Let, let us know what you think about that because I think too much does not exist. Well, I have to agree with you, Shannon. I never, never thought those two words went together. You're going to have to get the Wilmer, the Wilmer whip. I like to do that. And, and... <laughs> Honey, you are not involved in this. <laughs> I gather she agrees with Steve. Yes, she's agreeing with Steve. <laughs> uh oh. Now I'm really in trouble. <laughs> okay. Oh boy. And so far, Steve, you are losing. Oh no, I'm 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 in trouble. I I'm gonna have to put myself in a timeout. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A chat's on uh, Shannon's side here. Oh, I I don't doubt it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Well, just joking, you know. Not, I'm just kidding. I know, I know. <laughs> but no, I still, I still have to pick on you because that's just way too much fun. Yeah, because it's too easy. That's why. Oh no, I'm easy to, I'm easy to one to pick on. You? Well, I'm yet to f figure out anything to pick on you about. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Nor Norman says the boss has spoken. Okay, Shannon, see you lost. Mm. 
Well, hello. Leslie, okay. Leslie's got one up on me. Well, wait a minute. Tar, tar, tar Heel RRDS says doghouse time. Is that for Shannon or me? <laughs> Could be both of you. Well, I'm I, Australian. I Sleeping on the couch is camping, technically. <laughs> I, I sleep with two dogs, so I guess it, it's always in the doghouse. The dog. <laughs> yeah, I think I, I think I think that counts as sleeping in the doghouse voluntarily. Yeah. Okay. Um, we don't have one. Now, in saying that, you think I have too much sleep? Leslie Gilpin, I have 175 N-scale locomotives, a few of them <laughs> are dummies, and just cancelled over 275 passenger cars. And Roy Container okay. Man's got 1,500 trucks and trailers. <laughs> Oh, I opened a can of worms, didn't I? Which, I think you did, Steve. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which, in saying that, I am trying to do a stock take. I have to stop looking at that camera because that camera is not working. That's the camera that's working. I'm doing a stock yeah. take. I am going to film it. It will be up on my channel. I have given, I have given myself two weeks to get it done in. Otherwise, it's... Yeah, I'll have to get it done in two weeks. Otherwise, I'm what, otherwise it's going to be that whole tomorrow never comes. And I don't want that. Shannon, do you, have a, do you ride a motorcycle, Shannon? Um, Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> Crazy, Crazy Joe 67 says you look like a biker. Well, if you want, I, can, I would agree. You think I look like a biker? You should see my stepfather. Jesus. Now, he he's a biker. He's got the beard. He's got the long hair with the bald spot. Now wait a minute. Dw Dwight Curley says he's only got one engine. Dwight, you're on the. Wait a minute. Get get your mates on here. Come on, get your friends on here. You what might win this. Yeah. And if we I don't, we'll just give it to you. I think uh, Dwight's HO though. Uh oh. What was that? He's going to have a model of Steve riding this around, around the layout. <laughs> uh, yeah, fine. Will Wilmer. We were just talking about that. Um, yeah, he says he's got a friend that's got over 300 O scale locomotives. And. I, I watched your video, Wilmer, and I just like, holy moly, that guy's got way too much money. That's a lot of stuff. And building his railroad through his house and and Portland cement for the mountains. I mean, that's just insane. You got to go to Wilmer and watch that. Watch that. That's yeah, we'll that's have a to. Great video. Now, it looks like Vinny is leaving us for the minute, so we'll talk to you later, Vinny, and we'll catch up soon. Later, Vinny. Take care, man. Um, what else? I'm just trying to keep up with the chat, and my eyes are going all funny. Oh, we got we to gotta help Bill out at New Fenris, too. You got to win this. He's only got one locomotive, too. You got We got to help you guys out. Mm, just need uh, 10 more in chat. Yeah, yeah, that's for sure. Um, now we've got fifteen minutes left to go. Um, so, yeah. So, um, is there anything else we wanted to add in regards to this kit bashing and scratch building, or see? Well, I mean, I, I don't do a whole lot yet, but I, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have to figure something out. What for... you don't do a whole lot? You scratch built that. Um, what's it called? That pier. And the oh, that little trestle, this but this little guy back here. That's I haven't that that's been so long since I built anything like that. So yeah, I guess I guess I did. And you built the uh, car float, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Well, yeah. Okay, and see, this fits there. 
And yeah, I did. Um, the banana bite. I got the car float. The banana bite, which is way, way better than no. The banana boat is the original, right? The one that bowed. This was the original, and, and every time I look at it, it's more bowed. But that that one is dead dead on flat. So, um, <laughs> so yeah, I guess maybe maybe I do a little bit, but not much. But I'm gonna I've got a few buildings I'm gonna have to figure out a way to do. So I guess I'm gonna scratch build them because I'm not paying the money to buy them. <laughs> so. I'll have to throw throw you some ideas throw me some ideas for a couple on how to do it. So I'm I'm gonna have to look at uh, Vinny's videos on how to scratch build buildings. Um, Leslie suggested, have you guys used food packaging for scratch builds? I painted up a plastic herb drum as a small town water tank. Uh, Roy, I'd love to see yeah, it. Dave, yeah, Dave, at BNSF and scale, all that cement, he doesn't, hope he doesn't have to move it ever. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. It's like, man, you're going to need it. And if you ever got to take it out, it's going to take a jackhammer. Uh, if I if I did that and moved, I would just leave it. <laughs> it goes with the house. That's it. <laughs> the new buyer's yeah. problem. Actually, Doug Dilly just come oh. up with a good comment. Um, now I know a couple of the guys in the in the YouTube and you know modeling world know this name, Luke Towan um if you ever get a chance check out his, his channel he does a lot of scratch building and a lot of diorama work and it is second to none. Oh, yeah well you know and actually that this reminds me too um our buddy ron pistol man you you are also a great scratch builder and he's putting out the uh, scratch building tip don't be afraid to start just break everything down to its simplest geometric geometric shape uh you can build anything you want so that there's another guy to go to ron's workbench oh ron, ron yeah. does excellent work yeah so i'm gonna go to you ron, when it comes to you. uh okay i'm um, just trying to think if there's anything else when what um, i feel like we're missing something um oh that's right let me just check the calendar. March. Where's my phone? There are a couple of dates that I'd like to let everyone know ahead of time because there will be the day where we forget to mention it and then everyone's going to go, what the hell's happened? So where are we? So March, April. Okay, so just giving you guys pretty much a month in advance. Um, so east, so Easter weekend, which is in Australia, it's going to be the dates of tenth, eleventh, twelfth of April. I'm not going to be available, so there's a good possibility we won't be able to stream on that weekend. Um, so that is in a month's time. Uh, in saying that. I will try and get some video of the exhibition I'll be displaying at on that weekend. Um, and we'll try and get in the intermission video for the weekend after. Um, apart from that, what else is there? I've also got a birthday coming up. Which is see how invaluable you are. Yes, I know. Um, it'll be no April fourth. So I'm just working backwards here. April fourth, we won't be. I won't be able to host the stream because um, on April fifth, uh, I'm having my son's first birthday party. So I'm gonna be brought up. Oh. 
bright and early for that, so that means I'm going to bed early Saturday that look, that night. We'll figure something out. We'll yeah, figure. yeah. Hof 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 hopefully, Sparky's open those two dates. Or no, not Sparky. <laughs> Simon. Why am I thinking Sparky? Simon. Simon. Jesus. Well, actually, that's not bad. Yeah, so maybe maybe Sparky good. can host the show. There you go. Yeah, we'll get Sparky onto onto this. I think that's a good idea. What do you think, Sparky? Let me. I, I, what do you think? I think that's a good idea. We should we should all tell Sparky that he needs to host the show. Um, the other thing as well, guys, is underneath Steve and John at the moment, you you would have been seeing that everything scrolling across. Um, I do need to get some more accurate information to update it properly. But yeah, if you if you watch the rerun, uh, that's basically all the live streams that um that are hosted during the week, as well as a couple of series that are held um during the week as well uh so you know you, for example you've got wilma's show not bad on mondays um i know cousin viddy has got a show that comes out um roy h has a live stream as well um what else community well you you and brian are doing community roundhouse too john so that's uh, yeah. with Vinny. So that, yep. Yeah, that, that that's coming up. Uh, the next one is March 11th on Vinny's channel. Mm. Yeah, yeah and you got to check out Wilmer not, at Not Bad. Not bad. Yeah, but yeah, inside that, yeah. Sparky, Sparky on Wednesday. We got yeah. Sparky on Wednesday, Vinny Friday. That's on Saturday. Gosh, who who else? I, I know well, Brian's good at this. I, I don't. Yeah, you know, Bri Brian has a memory. He has it burnt into his memory right now. But yeah, in saying that, as I said, it's been streaming along the bottom of our screens, whole stream. So have a look. If you need to watch a rerun, go through the rerun. Has everyone's channels on there, and, you know, and what times. Uh, as far as I know, they're all Eastern Standard Time in the US. So yeah, check those guys out. Um, also, if you guys want to um, promote your channels, promote your channels, let us know what subscriber counts you have and whatnot. Um, I'll read them off if I see. Yeah. Now, apart from that, looking on the chat, numbers seem to be dropping a little bit. Um, I'll have to double check through the stream and see how many people actually were on on the chat. So. Yeah, I'm only th showing thirty four. We're losing people. Oh no. Yeah, I see 35 right now. And we've got uh, 15 thumbs up. So no thumbs down, so that's a good thing. Container, man, it's hard to read the banner. Okay, I'll have to double. Dale Bass, 154. Uh, oh, that's right, Dale Bass. Uh, um, Sunday morning, coffee and trains. I uh, forgot about that one. Good job. Um Chuck, CDP 1965, he's got a 165. Uh, Ron Piskel, 366. Dwight Curley, 149. Um, let's see. He come in, I don't see him. Ken Griffith Jr., 135, 138. Claude, Cowboy Valley and Timberline Junction Railroad, 162. New update coming later today. I can't wait to see that one, Claude. I promise I'm going to get that bridge out to you, ASAP. If he doesn't, Claude, I'll make sure he does because he's got my parcel no, there as well. It. It's right here. I've, I've even got it. It's, it's even in bubble wrap. It's I, I've just got to do some final packing of it. I've got it. I just got to get off my butt. Well, I, I've got that locomotive sort of painted so I can. That's what I've been doing for the last week. So I promise I will get that in. 
Uh, Roy Hardwick, Container Man 68, 1,369. Grandpa Rails, John, 466. Uh, Container Man, 1369. John, Schuylkill River Valley, 340. Yes. Wilmer, oh, one more. Let's get Wilmer. It's 599. Let's hit 600 for Wilmer, Indian Head Valley Railroad. He's at 599. One more. Come on, Wilmer, tell us if you hit 600. Somebody subscribe to Wilmer. Doug Dilly, 21 subscribers and no videos. Grandpa Rails. Oh, Grandpa Rails, I think it's just joined us late. Yeah. Yeah, John Dilly. Dave Piper, 194. That's close, man. Give give Dave six more. He hits 200. Uh, Chuck just said Wilmer's at 600. Boom. All yeah, right. Well, I can't well, say all right, man. I can't say boom anymore. Ron Piskel is also putting out, remember the Strasburg get together in May. Unfortunately, I won't be going to that. And I can't go to that cause of obvious reasons. Yeah, it's a little far for you, John. Well, it's not that it's far, it's expensive. I mean, uh, yeah, I'm sure. I mean, yeah, first, sure. first is the fuel to the airport. Then there's the plane ticket. Then it's getting over to <laughs> the other side of the globe. Then there's buying, getting the hire car. Then it's driving over to someone's house or getting a hotel or I don't know. Then there's the food, and I eat a lot. Like I stay you... mean, before the show. I did have popcorn. Oh, he was crunching popcorn. It's, it's it was horrible. <laughs> Jim, Jim, Jim Steen, he, he says he's got forty six, but no trains, just boats. Are you making fun of my your your port? No boats. Okay, just boats. Okay. Um, Ron Piskel's asking, John, if you're coming to Strasbourg. Oh, yes, I am. Okay. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. All right, cool. All right, anyway, um, so it's getting close to pretty much finishing up the show. So thanks for everyone joining us tonight. Um, I am going to double check the numbers on the stream, see what we actually hit. Um. If I am feeling generous, I might bend the rules a little bit, but that depends how close we have been. Um, apart from that, Steve, is there anything you want to add at all? No, I just ho I hope the, the the show's getting a little better. We're we're trying to keep Colonel Murphy out of the building, so uh, um, just. You know, really thank everybody for supporting this channel. It's it's gotten some, uh, you know, some publicity and 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 mentions, and it that is that's awesome. That's all we wanted to do is just keep this thing going. Um, you know, we got a handful of people that can actually run it, and Shannon's one of them. So uh, I mean, hats hats off to Shannon, man. I tell you what, that that is, I I tease you, I give you a hard time, but man you are the hardest working guy i've ever seen as far as uh, this community so uh oh thank you, you. no yeah. i appreciate that um by the same time i don't like being in the spotlight that's what i was after um but yeah apart well, from that 
neither do I. Yeah. Um, um, apart from that, I was going to make one suggestion is um, when I don't model railroad, so if I'm for whatever reason incapacitated or stuck on the computer, um, I have uh, spoken to the other guys. I do play a, a train simulator at times, so I was actually thinking of loading some of that footage up onto this channel as well just for some midweek entertainment if anyone's interested um yeah we'll see how that goes if uh if that that'll be an interest to anyone who wants to watch that but yeah otherwise um well yeah. I, I want to thank john yeah thank john first coming on john. really and appreciate it hey thank you guys for having me it was a lot of fun and uh, i really enjoyed it all right, beautiful. Well, you know, we make new friends. Every time we get somebody on here live, I make new friends, you know, because you kind of get to know them talking before the show. And and uh, and that's awesome. That That's that, you know, for me personally, that's kind of a, a really cool perk. So I enjoy getting to know you, John, and uh, um, can't wait to see that bridge. <laughs> Thank you. <Yeah. laughs> to be honest, I can't wait to see it either. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we'll talk to you later. We'll see you all again next week. Same, yeah. same time, same channel. Yeah, yeah, ne yeah. Ne next week. Um, I have to think for a second because I'm thinking. Hang on, next week is train show. No, I'm going Saturday morning, so I'll be away. All right. Anyway. Good. <laughs> all right. I'll talk to you guys later on. Thanks again for joining us on the show. Gonna minimize that. And we'll see you all again next week. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.